10 News reporter Connor Dietrich tonight working for you to explain how Roanoke City Public Schools will be ready despite some staffing shortages. We are two weeks away from Roanoke City Public Schools going back to the classroom. Tonight, the school board's last meeting before school returns. Chief Human Resources Officer Dominic McKee provided an update to staffing shortages for the district. We're well above where we, where we used to be in the past, um, but we, we still have about 29 positions to fill, um, so we're still looking for um, teachers out there. But even with open positions, McKee says the schools are ready. If we had to open tomorrow, we'd be able to open tomorrow. Teachers are just a portion of a team helping students thrive in their education. A team filled with administrators, counselors, custodians, and more. And currently, the district is seeking more bus drivers. We have 123, I think that's what we said, but we still need uh, more bus drivers. The 123 number is still better than last year 107 bus drivers. Roanoke City Public Schools also hired over 30 additional food service positions as well. While it's important to fill positions, it's even more important to get qualified people. We want people that are dedicated to our students, that want to make a difference in students' lives, and, and, and want to do the best that they can on, on a day-to-day -day basis. In Roanoke, Connor Dietrich, 10 News, working for you. The district is having a supporting staff job fair. That'll be this Thursday inside the Nolsey Taylor Learning Academy cafeteria. It'll be from 10 a.m. till 1.